I've been using Opus Clip on both mobile and computer for nine months. I know it inside out. And while using it is similar on both devices, there's differences on mobile that if you don't know about, you won't get the clips you want. So this video is going to look at how to use Opus Clip on mobile in 2024. Cool. So we will start here on the Opus Clip website. Just quickly, if you don't know what Opus Clip does, it takes long video and then uses AI to find highlights in that long video, which it then automatically turns into short form videos for you that you can use on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels. There's actually a way to start using Opus Clip completely for free. I'll run through that a little later because right now I just want to show you how this works. Just going to sign in. And once you've signed in, we'll see a screen like this. Basically, all we need to do here is click on this button here at the top and paste the link to the original video. So that can be like a YouTube URL, Rumble, it could be a link to a Zoom recording. Wherever that video is, you just paste the link into this box here. And then straight away, you'll see that Opus Clip has found that original video. We're going to use this interview with Mr. Beast. Next up, if we scroll down, we'll see here there's a ton of presets for captions that Opus Clip will add on to our short form clips that we can choose at this stage. You can see they've got this Mr. Beast preset and Alex Hormozy preset. I'll choose this one down here on the bottom left. I'm just used to using this one. You then scroll down, choose the genre of the original video. So this is a podcast. And then this is the important part here. If you want clips that can be used across all platforms, shorts, TikToks, Instagram Reels. You need to only select these two lengths of time, less than 30 seconds and 30 to 60 seconds, because YouTube Shorts only allows for 60 seconds max for your videos to be a short. Any longer than that, then YouTube will just make it a normal YouTube video. So we only want clips that are 60 seconds max. So we're going to make sure it's just those two settings of less than 60 seconds that have been selected. You can then also enter keywords down here in this bottom box that you want to, the AI to look out for when it's choosing your clips. I think the AI does a good enough job on its own. So I'm just going to leave that blank and let the AI do its magic. And then we just press get clips in one click. And then we just wait. It usually takes between 10 to 15 minutes max, depending on how long the original video was. Great, so once that wait's finished, we get given a page like this where we can see, if we scroll down quickly, the AI has taken the original video and given us a ton of clips that we can then put onto social media. I won't scroll all the way to the bottom, but the AI has actually created 40 clips from that original two hour recording. So just think about how many clips you'll be able to get from your long form videos using this too. And then if we look at each short form clip we've been given, we'll see that it gives us a title to use for that clip. We can preview the clip that it's given us by pressing this play button here. No, you're never, it's just not no happen. one's ever going to do what I do better than me. Like, it's yeah. just not, it's not even humanly possible. Like, I re That's all we need to watch for now. This is really interesting. If we scroll down, it's actually given us a score out of 100 for each clip. So this clip's been given a 99 out of 100 score, saying it's like a really good clip. And it tells us why the clip is good. So it tells us about it having a good hook and what's so good about the hook. It tells us about the flow, the engagement, and also whether this clip is tapping into trends. So as well as telling us how good the clip is, we can actually learn from this box here what makes good clips so that we become better at making short form clips ourselves in the future. So this is something I actually really like. If we look down here too, for each clip, we can either favorite that clip to kind of remember that we want to use that clip later, or you can give it a thumbs down rating too. And if we scroll down to the next clip, I want to show you something. You'll see here for each clip, we get given these four buttons. Um, have a guess what you think these buttons actually do. And I'll talk you through them now one by one. So starting with the obvious, we have this third button, button number three, and that's the download button. And like I said, you can use Opus Clip for free and you can actually download these clips with no watermark. A lot of other video editing products, if you're using the free version, if you download that video that has like their company logo splattered all over it, if you follow the link in the description to this video, that will set you up with a seven day free trial where you can generate your own clips, press this download button, which I'll click now, and you'll be able to download your clips for free with no watermark. So make sure to not miss that free download button in the description to this video. The button on the right hand side, the pencil icon is the edit button. 
I'm going to click on this in a second because this is one of the features that is different when you use it on mobile than on computer. It lets you change the style of the subtitles, add emojis, add B-roll onto your clips, but I'm going to talk about that in just a sec. The second button, PR, don't worry about that if you're on mobile. That just allows you to download a file that you can use in Adobe Premiere, but Adobe Premiere is a desktop computer application, so we can't use that on mobile. But then if we click this button on the left, the purple button, this is the scheduling button. And you can see once I've clicked that, I'm able to quickly publish this generated short form video to my YouTube Shorts account, to my TikTok, to my Instagram, to my LinkedIn. I can publish it to any of my socials by just clicking that schedule button right there on the left. It's amazing. Okay, so what if you want to go into one of these clips and edit them and change how they look visually? Like I said, this is the edit button on the right, but look what happens when I click it. Editing features are only available on desktop. So unfortunately, we can only use on mobile the styles that are in those templates that we selected at the start. I'll just go back and show you actually. Cool, so I've just popped another video in and you can see down here, we have these presets. This is as far as level of customization that we have when we're using Opus Clip on mobile. We can only edit our clips as far as the variety in these templates let us. But there is one more thing that we can do to customize these clips, how we want them on mobile. This is what I found out. If you click, if we look just a little bit higher, we'll see this My Templates tab right there that I've just clicked on. And here we can see clickable icons for five templates that I've made in the past. So these are templates that I've made on my computer where I've made sure like the subtitles look how I want them to. I've chosen the aspect ratio. So maybe I want a square video rather than a vertical video. I've even told Opus Clip within that template if I want emojis showing up within those clips or not. And once I do that on desktop, I can save it as a default template so that when I come to Opus Clip later on my mobile, I can just select the template I know it doesn't give you a preview of what it looks like, unfortunately, on here. You have to kind of remember what you called the template and make sure you're choosing the right one. But I can choose the template on this first screen on Opus Clip using my mobile before I press this button at the top to get clips. And it makes sure that every clip it creates for me on my bar phone is edited in the way that I've chosen inside my default template. A lot to get across there, but you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it really is as simple as that to use Opus Clip on your mobile phone. Like I said, if you want to use it for free so you don't get those watermarks on the videos you're getting back from Opus Clip, there's a link to a free trial in the description to this video. I'd recommend Opus Clip. I've been using it, like I said, for nine months. I'm a power user. It's helped me get so much more content out from content that I've made in the past already in like no time at all. So huge hack for creators out there. Also, I've been using it on desktop and I found a, a power user way on desktop to get thousands of short form clips back from Opus Clip in like 10 minutes. I talk about it in this video, so watch that desktop tutorial from me next. Subscribe to the channel for more AI tips like this for video creators and I'll see you on the next one.